Hey folks, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. It's an honor to connect with you here, as always. I know I've been talking a lot about the power of changing your story in this space recently. And that's true. There is tremendous power, or there can be tremendous power in changing your story. If you don't like the story that's going through your head, find another one that makes you feel better, right? Sometimes that works. But what happens when you go through all the stories that you have, all the tools that you have, all the ideas that you have, people offer reframes and nothing works. What happens when there is no story that can make you feel better? What do you do then? It certainly happened to me more often than I can count. And in fact, it's happened to me recently, and that's why <coughs> in the last two days specifically, I shared videos about the fact that I'm calling a spade a spade and not really happy and don't really like the fact that I'm disabled. That's just my truth. I've tried, for example, over and over and over again, and sometimes it works, to find reasons and stories and thoughts that make it easier for me to accept the fact that I am disabled. Sometimes it works, but more often than not, I still resist the fact, struggle with the fact, hate the fact that I'm disabled. And there's no way of getting around that. And so I did finally do the only thing left to me the only option left to me to take, I took. And that is, I simply called a spade a spade. I called it like it is. I stated my truth. I said, look, I don't like being disabled. Or in yesterday's, when we were here yesterday, I shared the fact that I feel like a burden. 500 different ways I can think about how that isn't the case, how that might not be the case, how to make myself feel better, how to tell myself a different story. Sometimes it works. Most of the time, though, the truth still stares me in the face. And that is, I feel like a burden. I don't like being disabled. And sometimes there's nothing we can do to change the story. Sometimes changing the story doesn't, doesn't work. And in that case, we do what <clears throat> one of the first things I was taught in my counseling training. And that is, as uncomfortable as it might be, Name what's in the room. Speak your truth. Sit in your truth. If you can, stand in your truth. If you can't do that, lie in your truth. But claim your truth. <clears throat> when push comes to shove, and nothing else works, and changing the story doesn't work, call the spade a spade, claim the truth, as it is, tell the story as it is. <clears throat> maybe it'll change, maybe it won't. But the one thing I can tell you for sure is that the story won't change until it is ready to change. Nothing will feel better until the story itself is ready to feel better. Nothing will resonate 
in your body <clears throat> resonate as a full body yes until it is ready to do so so <clears throat> the moral of today's time together is when you've done everything you can do to change the story and it doesn't work claim the story in front of you call the spade a spade own it and see what happens maybe it'll move maybe it won't but at least you know you've tried everything until next time take care of yourselves and each other all the best